Welcome back to Fox 8 News in the Morning. So it can be hard to help children navigate the coronavirus pandemic as they return to school in daycare. Melinda Falcone with Ohio Guidestone has a new tool to help teach children how to deal with their emotions. And she's with Wally there. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. <laughs> Wally, take off the mask. <laughs> Come on. Hi. Melinda, Hi. It's, it's so nice to have you guys. So talk a little bit about Ohio Guidestone and what you guys offer. You've been around for a very long time. Long time, yes. Um, Ohio Guidestone is one of the state's largest providers of behavioral health services. So in addition to early childhood mental health services, which is the program that, that we work for, um, we provide services to, to youth, um, substance abuse services, um, just, um, I'm, I'm, I'm a little, I'm nervous talking. Oh, stop it. Are you nervous too? Yeah. <laughs> um, but be, uh, behavioral health in all right, its right. many facets. So, you know, something that's getting a lot of attention right now with, with so many people under stress. Sure. So, yeah, we've been, uh, Ohio Guidestone has been around for 155 years. Yeah, I encourage um, you to go to their website because it's uh, very interesting and in everything that they're really involved in. But oh Wally, my, yes. my gosh, yes. Wally's been around for a long time. I thought maybe he was just somebody new who joined no. Ohio Guidestone. So, talk about Wally, and uh, parents sure. are really loving Wally. <laughs> Well, it's hard not to love Wally. <laughs> oh, he, he's kind of shy sometimes. <laughs> um, so back in um, the 2008-2009 school year, um, Ohio Guidestone decided to implement a program called the Incredible Years. Um, actually, one component of the Incredible Years, which mm -hmm. is called Dinosaur School, um, in which um, mental health workers like me go into preschool classrooms twice a week to teach children um, social emotional skills so we've been doing this for a very long time so wally is not just was not just um drafted mm -hmm. for use during the pandemic actually if you think about it the all of the issues that are caused by the pandemic and the uncertainty of returning to school and daycare, um, it's kind of a teachable moment right, right, for right. us um, in early childhood mental health. So Wally has gone back to day daycare. So Wally, tell us some of the changes um, that has been made. I know you have a really good idea for those who are washing their hands, the kids, because 20, 25 minutes or seconds rather can be a long time. So give us some ideas, <laughs> Wally, on how to pass the time and do it right. Oh, yes. Well, 25 minutes, Christy, that would be a very long time. Be <laughs> We'd be very, very clean. Yes. You'd be very pruny after all that. But if... <laughs> In order to really kill all, all the germs, including the coronavirus, you need to wash your hands with soap and water. And you can sing the ABC song or happy birthday a couple of times. And that will make sure and clean the, the tops of your hands and between your fingers, kill all those germs. <laughs> That's right. I, it's weird to be doing it in daycare so much. Yeah. But that's what we have to do to keep ourselves and each other safe and healthy. Now, Wally, I, I saw that you had a mask on earlier, so you probably had yes. to use one of those at daycare. It's been kind of tough, huh, to get used to? Well, it's a little tough for me to get used to, but it was even tougher to see my teacher in a mask. Because I'm not used to that. I'm, I'm not used to seeing a mask, and it's a little bit hard to understand what she's saying sometimes. Yeah. But my mom and dad said that this is our for now normal. Right. And they told me all about my teacher wearing a mask and my friends having to stay far away from me and all of those changes. Right. make us kind of uncomfortable and a little bit scared. Yeah, and they're washing toys a lot and stuff, probably social oh, yeah. distancing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, Melinda, let me ask you this. I know there's going to be a lot of questions, especially once kids head back to school, some of maybe the younger kids in daycare already. And they're probably asking all those questions. Is the virus gone? What happens if mommy and daddy get sick? 
How do parents make their child feel comfortable with the right answers? Well, that's a good place to start because there's no right answer. Um, I think what's important is for us to realize that um, that when we're uncomfortable, when things are uncertain, we get scared and we get nervous. And it's important for parents to acknowledge that, that and, and to kind of resonate with that, that mm -hmm. they're nervous and they're uncomfortable too because they like knowing exactly what's going on, but our for now normal doesn't let us do that. Sure. So we're gonna need to just kind of get accustomed, get comfortable with the uncomfortable, sure. if you were. Right. Um, the good thing is that there are some things we can depend on, and parents can talk to their children about those feelings, but really focus on the things that they know are going to happen. Mm -hmm. Like, mommy's going to drop you off at school, and at the end of the day, mommy's going to pick you up, like I always do. Right. So right. that's very, very important. And another really vital thing, and, and again, what makes this a teachable moment, is that we don't need to manage our, our scared feelings, our uncomfortable feelings, all by ourselves. Right, right. We have, um, in, in, uh, in the incredible years, we refer to big problems, and those are problems you need a grown-up to help you with. Right. We can solve these problems together as a family, and make a plan because everybody feels better when they have a plan. You guys are so, fantastic. Wally, he's got a sister behind you. There's, you got a yes. little turtle. You have, you guys do a, a great job at Ohio Guidestone. I encourage you to hop onto their website. You can volunteer, you can donate, all kinds of information. So thanks for spending a little time yes, with us, yes. Wally. We enjoyed you too. Oh, it's so exciting to meet you. If we were in the studio, I ask you for your autograph. <laughs> and I would give it to you. <laughs> You're a sweetheart. <laughs> All I'm right. Gonna, well. I'm going to drop your name, you know. I'm going to tell people that I met you, and they're going to be so jealous. You're cute. Melinda Molly, thank you for being with us. We appreciate it. Have a great day. You too. Thanks so much. Thanks Bye. for helping the kids out. Bye. We'll be right back.